Welcome to Pixel Composer tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to work with S5 files in Pixel Composer. This tutorial is on version 1.1.0.1. Also, the source and the project file will be included in the Dropbox link down in the description. There will be two S5 files that we will use today. The first file will be for the background, which have multiple layers for different parts. And the second file is a character file. But there is two animations. There is an idle animation and there is a walking animation. And these two animations are being separated using tags. This is another feature that uh, support in Pixel Composer. And to import the S5 file to Pixel Composer, you can simply drag it from your file explorer right into the scene. So let's drag in both of those files. As you can see, it will just render the entire scene out, right? When you click onto it, you're gonna see that it has detect all the layer that you can enable and disable. And when you import the tag, if you also read in this tag, when you play the animation, and now you are not selecting any tag. Okay, this is a bit too fast. You play the animation. Now, as you can see, you're playing both of the animation. Let me change the colors of each animation so it's easier to see. So that I can show you another benefit that you can get is that when you make an edit on your SPI file, you can come back to Pixel Composer, select the node, and then you can press Execute node. And now, the image will automatically update. Now, as you can see, we are not selecting any tags. So when you play the animation, it just simply gonna play the entire animation. You can also select the tag and you can play the animation. Now we're just gonna loop on that tag and we can change to a different tag. Now the next thing we want here, we might want to extract each of these layers into their own node so that we can edit each of them independently. So we can select on the node and then click on generate. As you can see here, each of the layer will now become its own node. And if you want to combine it back, you can select all of them and then right click. You can select Compose Node or you can also use Control Shift B, which will combine all of them back to the original image. However, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use Camera Node that I just updated, which allows you to create an interesting parallax effect. So now let's add in the Camera Node by right click and go to Compose and then Camera. In Camera, we have the background properties. So we can just put in the background and we might want to set the focus area of the camera to be the size that we want. So here I just set the camera size to match the size of the image. The next thing we want here is maybe the sun. We can add cloud. These three objects can be combined to one image. And right now when we move the camera, the outside of the image will just be empty because we set the over sample mode to be empty. So now let's set it to repeat. Next thing we want the sun to stay still. We don't want the sun to move when we move the camera. So now let's open the element and then make the sun parallax in the inverse direction of the camera by setting the X parallax is at negative one and the C at one. What happened here is that when you move the camera, you can see that the sun will follow the camera. Now we might want to transform the sun. And let's add parallax to the cloud. Actually, we can also do just normal transform, but let's just make it a parallax as well. The cloud will move quite slow and make the foreground move fast. So now when you move the camera, you can see that your scene are now have this parallax effect. But what if we want to add in our animation as well? So maybe we just add a normal transform node and we might want to set the output dimension to be the same as our image dimension here. So we make it a visible and then you drag in the output to here. Now I'm just gonna uh, move them around. Really simple movement. I maybe make it stop in the middle so that we can add, you can change the animation too. So now we want to change the animation so that when they stop moving, we change back to idle animation and then set back to walking when it starts moving again. So now let's add keyframe. The original is walking and set to idle. And go back to walking. Now you can play the animation. What you can do next, you can simply blend the two image together. You can use blend node control B or you can use compose node control Shift B. In this case, there's no different because blend node only accept two node, but you can also change the blend mode but the composite node can take in multiple number of nodes. 
and that's the only difference really and there we go oh i forgot to animate the camera too so let's add animation to the camera is it too fast yeah the animation doesn't make any sense but this is just an example of how you can do animation using a multiple as sprite file in pixel composer and again because all of these are being done in a non-destructive way if you go back to your as sprite and you want to i don't know add in more trees then you save your as sprite file go back go to your ase then press execute node you may want to refresh and there we go we got a new tree also we have to refresh the shadow too there we go now we got the new update with all the original animation and I want to fix this so that it updates this node automatically and that's how you can use Pixel Composer to a non-destructively create an animation and that's all for today's video again the project file and the source file will be in the description by the time that I upload this video I might update the latest version so that when you refresh this node it will also update this object as well so you don't have to disconnect and reconnect it the next time but for now Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.